What is up YouTube? I'm Devon Da Vinci, leader of the Renaissance crew, and you're watching Da Vinci Reacts. Today I'm going to be getting into another comedian. This is somebody I haven't really tackled yet, but someone I know a lot about. Um, I've watched a lot of his uh, comedy specials. Um, I remember him way back in when he was doing Comic View. For those of you that don't know, Comic View was a show on BT where they would have a lot of times up and coming, but sometimes established comedians where they would do uh, comedy sets. And it was extremely funny. I used to watch it all the time. Uh, this is Lavelle Crawford. Uh, it just says Lavelle Crawford stand-up comedy, so I don't know exactly which segment it's going to be from. Uh, looks like it says... Well, it says something about Laugh-A-Palooza. I'm, I'm, looks like that's a company, I guess. I thought that might have been the name of the special. But this video was uploaded by King, uh, The Kid from Buffalo. I will leave a link for their channel at the end of this video that you can click on and go to their channel. Uh, subscribe to them. Uh, check out their other content because it says they have a, over 300 other videos. So I'm sure there's other comedians and segments they have that you might not have ever seen. So go ahead and give it a look and see what it has to offer. Uh, if you haven't seen this video, I recommend you go and watch the original. Um, that way you can give the original content creator a view. Uh, and if Lavelle Crawford happens to have a YouTube channel or anything like that, I'll leave a link in that as well. So that you can go and check out the original original content creator <laughs> and you know give them a like a view subscribe uh, subscription whatever else so let's go ahead and check this out and see what it has to offer uh, before we get into this lavelle crawford has lost a lot of weight so don't judge him based on this video he has lost almost all well not almost all of the weight but he lost a huge portion of the weight let's check this out oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Go sit back down shit. you ain't gotta get up on my account fuck. Could I show when stand up for y'all? My feet hurt right now. I was in the back, my feet was killing me, but I want to march for Cheryl Underwood. She was a civil rights activist motherfucker right there. I was gonna march at least about three or four feet. I wasn't going no farther than that. Cheryl Underwood's yeah, another girl. all that long three mile march. Yeah, they don't hear me busting from the house. It's just the bullshit. The white people need to get that shit together. <laughs> That's all I'm going to do. Fuck the bullshit. <laughs> I got on my suit, too. Shit. Shit. I just found this motherfucker. It's golden brown. I look like a fat-ass Twinkie up in this motherfucker. <laughs> I don't know where the cream filling is, but I feel good in this motherfucker. <laughs> I got this suit for $200. If they would have made me pay by thread, I'd have been broke in the motherfucker. <laughs> It'd be a $40,000 suit up in this motherfucker, boy. But I'm feeling good, though. I'm feeling blessed. I'm kicking it, shit. I, they talking about 911 and shit. You know, all them airplanes. I'm afraid to get on a plane because, like, Southwest, hard on fat folks now. They want to charge fat people two tickets to get on the goddamn plane. <laughs> Ain't that a bitch? They kiss my fat ass, motherfucker. <laughs> Who the hell you think you is going to charge fat people two tickets to get on the goddamn plane? <laughs> who, how we going to know who too fat, who ain't? Shit. <laughs> What are they going to do? Excuse me, sir, how much you weigh? Bitch, I don't know. <laughs> Why don't you pick me up and we both find out? <laughs> you know, or what they going to have? Like when those signs you see at Six Flags, if you're taller than Elmer Fudd, you may ride this ride. They're going to have one at the airport. If your ass is wider than Harry the Hippo, <laughs> please catch the bus. <laughs> But I'm telling you right now, if it ain't a half fat people back uh, during 911, god damn it, it would have been no 911. Because we would have been blocking the aisle. <laughs> <laughs> Them motherfuckers be like, please, sir, please scoot over. This is a hijack. And I'd be like, I can't. <laughs> scoot over by the window. I'm already by the window. <laughs> They be like, abort, abort, fat motherfucker, block it out. <laughs> you damn right, you better drop me off in St. Louis, nigga, if you want to hold this motherfucker out. <laughs> Kiss my ass, I ain't giving nigga nothing to eat or nothing. <laughs> Don't come on the plane with a butter knife, nigga, you can cut all this. I'm going to still have more. Cut, this motherfucker. <laughs> cut my ass, shit, I can't even fit in the toilet. The toilet little in the motherfucker on the goddamn plane. Play toilet a closet, I got to pee outside the door. <laughs> Motherfucker praying that I won't sit with him when I walk down the aisle. Please, God, let a fat ass walk to the back, Lord. Lord, I stop smoking weed. Did you let a fat ass walk to the back? Lord, I give up everything. You let him. He got a bag of chicken in his hand, too. Dude. He look like he got gas, Lord. If it's your birthday. <laughs> You know, 
And you know, white folks love to fly. Uh, they fly everywhere. Well, it's going to hell. I'm flying to hell. So I want to see Satan anyway. You get your white ass out here. <laughs> white folks fly anywhere. Niggas don't fly that much. When I get on a plane, I'm sleep. Sleep like a motherfucker. I'm sleep. If I die on a plane crash, I want to wake up in heaven. <laughs> Hi, Jesus. <laughs> I must have died, huh? <laughs> well, show me to my room, shit. I ain't. Just my luck, I'll be sitting by some motherfucker that'll wake me up. Wake up, dog, the plane going down. What the fuck you wake me up, man? <laughs> Nigga, you could have left me sleep, shit. I can't scream for 30,000 feet. How the fuck? I'm <laughs> 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 oh, like, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it, fuck it. I'm going back to sleep. <laughs> Cause you know, most niggas be on the plane praying. White people be talking, eating gumdrop. Yeah, you know, yeah, the Wall Street Journal was a great paper and blah, 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 blah. Niggas be on the plane. Oh, Jesus. Give me your will, Lord. Let me make it to my destination. Lord, I know I wasn't worthy. I know I wasn't good. But I know you good. I know you've been good a long time. Lord, you've been with me so long. Let this 2,000 pound plane keep his ass up in the air. Lord, let the winds be soft and the clouds be needed, Jesus. Let the touch be Jesus. <laughs> Tell that plane hit the ground. And the Lord say, Amen. <laughs> Shit. I'm so sick of this bullshit, though. I, I'm going to tell y'all right now. It's two fat brothers on BET, and I'm the other one. I ain't Bruce Bruce. I'm the bell <laughs> goddamn cross. I am so sick of this <laughs> getting me mixed up. I don't got nothing to get Bruce Bruce, but goddamn it, that ain't me. <laughs> he got Bruce so Bruce got his own that. high blood pressure. I got my damn high blood <laughs> Bruce Bruce got fat feet. I got fat feet, too, goddamn. I eat all kind of shit, too. I... I eat anything. I don't give a fuck. I fuck up anything. I eat, I try almost any food. I don't give a fuck. I, some nigga came up to me the other day talking about, you know, Chinese people, they eat dogs. So? <laughs> Shit, I eat a dog too. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> I eat the box out of that motherfucker. <laughs> I don't care. I fuck a dog up. I got recipes right now. Pit bull and potatoes. <laughs> Rotisserie Rottweiler. <laughs> some poodle and some noodles. <laughs> it ain't no good dog out here except for Lassie. And, uh, I, and Lassie tell you shit like, what's wrong, girl? Oh, someone's trapped in the mine. Are you sure? Because, bitch, I got some soup and some sweet potatoes at the house waiting on your ass. <laughs> I will eat the shit out of Lassie if she's wrong. <laughs> you better be sure Timmy's stuck in that motherfucker. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you know, I I was feeling unhealthy. I went to the doctor and shit. I don't know why I went to the goddamn doctor. <laughs> Doctors like auto mechanics. They fix shit that you don't ask to be fixed. <laughs> I come in there with one motherfucking thing need to get fixed, so that's all the money I got. <laughs> you fix extra shit is on you, you motherfucker. <laughs> I went to the doctor for a twisted ankle. This nigga gonna check my blood, talking about, you know your sugar high. Well, maybe I'm a sweet potato. <laughs> <laughs> Throw some marshmallows on my ass and put me in the goddamn oven. <laughs> Who the fuck asked you to check my blood anyway, mother? I ain't paying you for that shit. I don't know how much that shit costs. You ain't got no price list up in this motherfucker. <laughs> shit. Who the fuck? I ain't got no HMO. I thought this was a hookup, nigga. You were that's some bullshit. <laughs> he talking about, don't worry about it. We'll put you on a diet. Nigga, look at me. Do I look like I found a diet well? <laughs> now I got to eat shit I don't want to eat, like oatmeal without no sugar in it. I might as well eat the box. <laughs> I got to eat salad. I look like a fat-ass rapper trying to eat a goddamn salad. <laughs> and every time I order a diet coke, people bust out loud. <laughs> That's for your jaw, motherfucker. You keep on asking those stupid-ass questions. <laughs> people start laughing. And I gotta eat everything before 8 o'clock. I'm cooking like a motherfucker at 7 30. Hurry up, hurry up! It's 7 45, help me, Jesus! Somebody help me, I ain't gonna get eat! <laughs> I gotta go to bed hungry. I be ha having nightmares. I'm eating shit I ain't supposed to eat. 
I had a nightmare. I had a giant rice crispy tree. Woke up, my master was gone like a bug. <laughs> I'm like, oh, Jesus, have <laughs> And I went home and told my mama about the diabetes. You know, you got to talk to mama. I was like, Baba, sit down, Baba. I got to tell you. <laughs> She's like, Lord, what's wrong? You ain't gay, are you? I'm like, hell no, I ain't gay. I'm too big to be gay. I can't bend over that goddamn long. <laughs> Have some nigga slap me on my ass, talking about, who's your daddy? I'm like, nigga, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> he left me when I was three years old. Can you stop asking them stupid ass questions? <laughs> I said, no, mama, I got diabetes. She was like, she didn't even know what it was. She's talking about, what's that? I said, mama, you don't know what diabetes is? She said, I don't know what it is, but you should have been wearing a condom up there messing with them ass ass <laughs> Now you got diabetes just like your dad. I said, ain't no damn venereal disease. And I forgot black folks call it call everything another name. And then we call diabetes the sugar. I said, mama, I got the sugar. She said, oh, Lord. <laughs> Not the sugar, Lord. <laughs> Not the sugar, Jesus. Jesus on the mainland. <laughs> Tell him what you want. <laughs> Call him up. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That's been my time. <laughs> uh, oh, man. Yeah. Lavelle Crawford is hilarious. He has, um, there was a segment that I saw him do one time, and it was funny. I want to try to find it. It was, uh, the one about the little kid that was asking the questions. Like, why are you snoring and you ain't sleep? Like, like y'all know what I'm talking about? Like, if y'all know that segment, uh, leave a link. I will react to it. I want to uh, try to find it. It was absolutely hilarious. Oh, man. I, it makes me want to go back and look at a lot of comedians that I haven't had a chance to see in a long time. And do reactions to them for the first time. Or at least for you guys. Because uh, a lot of them I have seen already. But uh, yeah, it... This stuff can get very funny. If you enjoyed that, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share. Um, go ahead and check out the original channel, uh, A Kid from Buffalo. Uh, they have, like I said, they have over 300 videos. I'm sure they have all types of videos that you might not have seen before. So go ahead and give it a look. I always recommend you look at the original video before you watch my reactions. Uh, that way you can give the original content creator a view and they can continue to make the stuff that we all enjoy. Uh, I think I'm pretty much done for today. Even though you're never really done, you always got to be working in some way or another. Uh, always got to stay hustling. I look forward to seeing you guys on my next videos. And until then, I'm Devon Da Vinci, and you just been enlightened. Give you the deuces. Peace. <laughs>